And we have two speakers for this stage. First one is Christos Sekes, a CMO of Glow Buyance Pay, and Sean Sophia Eath, a COO of Japan Representative Glow Buyance Group. Please give them warm welcoming applause. All right, I would uh, like to thank everyone for attending today's event from Globines Pay. I'm Christos Segos, the CMO of Globines Pay, and uh, this is Chansok Pia Eith, the COO of our Japan branch from Globines. Um, today's speech is going to be about how Globines Pay is aiming to change the current landscape in banking. Um, let me change the slide here. So, our mission is connecting all humans in a new kind of bank. That simply means, if we summarize it, that there's currently over 1.5 billion people that are underbanked all over the world, especially in states which happen to not be classified as first world, as you would say it, uh, especially Africa, Latin America, and other poorer countries especially. So we're aiming to be the bank that is going to summarize all those people into one and allow them to access financial measurements and instruments through the Globines Pay branch. Access to financial services is a human right and we made it our mission to provide that to as much people as we can. The question arises, why Globines Pay? What is different for us or what makes us different? So the answers are simply answered by explaining how there's a 100% need for fail-proof banks. That means that we don't lend away customer assets that allows us to not end up in liquidity crises. Accounts, cards, payment, and remittance services accessible for every human on the planet. <clears throat> we also developed our own Globines Pay messaging system for ESO, which allows for faster and cheaper settlement between banks and, of course, our own ecosystem. Um, at present, we're working on tokenization programs. That means that we're very government close to a lot of people and governments that want to tokenize bonds, which are going to be available at our own digitalized stock exchange. <clears throat> Here we see the current Globines Pay roadmap in the dark pink parts, which you see here. Uh, we currently have companies or already expanded. And in the light pink, you will see the GBP expansion plan stage one. So you see we have a strong footprint in the EAA area, which is United States, Europe. Um, we have companies in Georgia, Comoros, Peru. And as you see, we also strive to obtain licenses and companies in South Africa, Singapore, Malaysia, UAE, Japan, Hong Kong, Australia, Brazil. So here's a little slide about the current global structure. As you see in the darker pink, there's the companies and licenses that we already acquired, which are for one, the Globines Pay LLC, which is a money service business in the US. We have the Globines Pay US Bank and Trust, um, Globines Pay SXKB Trust Company in Sweden. We do have uh, CNAD in El Salvador, which is basically allowing us to have a Neo Bank license and a digital stock exchange there. Um, we have the MSO in Peru, a payment institution in Czechia, which is a part of Europe. Um, also, there's plans to expand in Kazakhstan, Comoros, and of course in Singapore and Panama. Um, the global structure expansion plan is visible here. <clears throat> Those are licenses that we are going to obtain in the near future. That means we're looking to expand into Korea with asset management, uh, Malaysia with an IP, uh, MSO in Hong Kong, uh, Sophie Po in Mexico, MSB in Canada, and also an IP in Brazil. Here's a little overview that you guys can look into about our licensed entities so far that are already existing or planned. So I already explained how the setup looks here, so take a look or a picture in case it's important for you. All right, um, going over to the fundraising, we have our fundraising entities, which are in Estonia, USA, United Kingdom, and Singapore. Here's a little quote from one of our founders, Irina La Rosa, about what the main objective of Globines Pay is. 
All right, let's get into interesting stuff, which is the global blockchain routed ISO conveyance system. We also call it GBRICS, uh, which is our own self-developed Swift replacing system, which is faster and more reliable, I would say. So getting into this, it's real-time settlement. That means banks and financial institutions that use this system can access it and settle at any time 24-7. Um, here we have enterprises, banks, and central banks <clears throat> that are able to use our stable coins, the Globine Space stable coins, which are available in almost any currency that you can imagine, from Hong Kong dollars to euros, Swiss francs, or anything besides that. We utilize the XDC network in order to make those technologies uh, possible and accessible for everyone. So here's a little diagram that would show how our system works. Inside of the ecosystem, you can move around the stable coins at any time, 24-7, 365 days a year. This allows you to do transactions, send transactions, receive transactions as merchant, bank, or payment institutions within the GBRIC system at any time, at low cost. And then once you want to settle them out, we keep the funds that you would need to receive at safeguarded central bank accounts that allows us for having more security than the average bank and having the customer assets in a secure place. So once you try to exit this ecosystem, the only thing that happens is that we settle back your funds instantly, so you're able to send money all over the world in the pace of seconds. Here's a little overview of how the, or the key points of the GBRIC system, which is ISO compliant, of course. It's decentralized and blockchain-based. We have instant settlement, Payloads are sent directly. That means we don't have a necessity for Nostro Vostro accounts. <clears throat> we carry out the KYB for participants, which is done at GBRICS. Participants are free to transfer within the GBRIC network at any time, any day. Um, there's 24 seven service, so there's no opening hours as such. And of course, we're based on the Swift APA standards. <clears throat> So going into this further, the Globines Pay utilizes its own developing message system, real-time gross settlement software to connect BRICS plus states and beyond. Holding the underlying fiat asset in reserve banks enables us to issue one-to-one -one backed stable coins, providing instant transfers at minimum cost and with zero risk. Globines Pay stable coins are always 100% insured. We keep the customer money at safeguarded central bank accounts. Here's a little overview of our issuing or tokenizing assets, issuing securities in digital forms. That means we have acquired a license in El Salvador that allows us to run a digital stock exchange. We're also currently looking into acquiring an RMO license in Singapore. A little information about <clears throat> STOs and security tokens is that the market is projected to grow to $60 trillion by 2030 which is sourced by Coindesk in this case, or the Boston Consulting Group originally. Um, the core idea of tokenizing real-world assets is that it allows fast and efficient 24-7 trading of any asset at any time. It lowers the barrier for people to participate in those securities and creates more liquidity. And of course, it's transparent as it's on the blockchain. <clears throat> so the competition. How are we different with Globines Pay? That's a great question that we get approached quite often. So most other tokenization providers on the market are only assisting companies to sell their self-created tokens on their own behalf. We are licensed to issue instruments, trade securities in a primary and secondary market. The Globines Pay digital stock exchange will work in a way where we have an advisory initial review which means that you submit your project, we check it out, our advisory board looks at it, does the due diligence, then we have an independent review board in Singapore. Um, on the one side, we of course have the clients which are VCs, funds, family offices, institutional investors and retail investors, and then we have the projects, which can range from a broad variety really. So. We can have anything from real estate to deal financing, expansion and business. Once all those key tasks are passed, we can go ahead and issue the security token. <clears throat> 
So, tokenizing assets, issuing securities in digital form ahead of the future. Government bonds, mining, infrastructure, water, and real estate. We worked with a lot of governments, very closely knitted, in order to allow them to tokenize their bonds. That means that you're gonna have access to, let's say, Brazilian water bonds, oil bonds from countries that may happen to have a lot of oil in their own country, which allows us to open those markets which sometimes are hardly accessible for people that don't operate the bond market too much yet to a lot of investors that could easily buy those bonds, sell those bonds, and of course trade those bonds on our digital stock exchange. So let's look at the GBPay security token. There should of course be a video playing now, but the technic here doesn't allow for that. <laughs> so allowing our customers that the GBPay security token offering to give out their voice, <clears throat> access meetings from our side, that means the people can join board meetings at the Globines Pay Bank, and of course give us their opinion, is one of the main things that we look into or in the future to do for the people that participate in this security token. That means we listen to our customers and to our investors at any time. <clears throat> Looking into this, the percentage and build up, I will leave this to Chan to explain. Absolutely. We issue the security token for uh, 100 million tokens that we will sell it for 90% of it. And we will use that eight percent of our token is used to, for the how can we say the primary investor who want to invest and give it for the bonus, and two percent is for our team, and our protocol is XDC twenty. We will know XDC who is it, what is it? It's a very uh, low fee, low cost. Okay. Okay. So, what do investors gain investing in this token? This can be summarized in. Very, very simple things. So the common interest of the core team is to build a great bank, a big bank, a banking infrastructure. So whoever invests in this product, of course, due to the fact that the security um, expects this investment to gain value while we build the bank of the future. Um, the return of token grows as the Globines Pay Bank grows, of course. That also includes banking licenses that we acquire, etc. These 100 million tokens get a 7.5% equity share and a 7.5% revenue share, which is unheard of on the board of revenue shares. So that's quite a lot, to be very fair. So the key features of the Globine Space Security Token offerings are that we have our own ESO settlement system, we have full digital operations, risk-free operations because we don't lend away customer money, there's safe stable coins for our customers that can be operated anytime, anywhere, from anyone. We have one-to-one -one reserve because we don't lend away customer money. This is one of the main points that I want to emphasize. The customer money that we have is unlike on traditional banks, not lended away. And of course, we prioritize safety as a core value of our banking services. So let's look into the fundraising a little more here. <clears throat> So this is the current fundraising setup that we use, which is the Globines Pay Neo Bank in El Salvador, uh, the SXKB Trust Company in Sweden, the US Bank and Trust LTD in the USA. And here's the table of the current raises and what we raised in the past. So looking right now, there's round four running, which means there's uh, 10 million tokens with a 12.5% bonus at a token price of 0.89%. So this is an offer that is going to be time limited, as you see. The planned rounds are going to amount to $90 million in total. <clears throat> so looking, as I said, into the revenue share, uh, we tend to compare it to other existing revenue shares of banks in the past. So. Traditionally, the ROI is about 5% on your investment today if you would have invested in a banking group that would have allowed for a revenue share. But if you compare this bank that exists right now with Globines Pay, 
um, if we reach that revenue, which is about $75 billion annual revenue, um, your $100,000 invest in a different product would have amounted to 5,394 US dollars yearly, which is 5.39%. But if Globine's pay reaches that size, we're looking at 6,264%, of course, projecting at a $75 billion revenue yearly, which is, in banking, not asking too much, really. Banks happen to have such numbers, and it's not hard to reach those with the setup that we currently have. Here's another quote from one of our founders. I'll just uh, step aside and let you guys read that. It's uh, Oliver Marco La Rosa. All right, we're nearing the end of our today's uh, speech, which also means uh, we'll give you guys a little opportunity to look at previous media that was released about the company or our founders and our mission. So in the next slide, you see a few issues of digital magazines or printed magazines. All right, I thank you guys for your attention and of course inviting, you over, uh, inviting us over here. A big thank you goes to Flip, of course, for having us here. And um, if any questions, of course, arise, I'll be here to answer any of those. Uh, for traditional banks, they acquire money from deposit and lending between the margins. But um, how does Globians earn money from the money that are lended from the investors? Um, we don't rely on earning money by lending away assets. We don't want to lend away customer assets. That's one of our core points. So we earn money based on the infrastructure that we offer to the clients, so on a fee base. We offer debit cards, we offer payment systems, QR payment systems, we offer merchant gateways, we offer settlements, um, card acquiring, and this wide range that allows us to onboard and service a lot of clients across the board from a lot of industries. So any industry you can imagine can be a part of Global Inspay and user services. This is enough to make this revenue possible that we project in the years. So. It is not required for a bank to lend away customer assets in order to make money. This is an optional thing that the banks opt into. They decide to do that. They're not forced to do that. And we decided not to. Thank you for today's great speech. Thanks a lot. 네, 박수 한번더 주십시오.